But hi guys, welcome back to City Skylines, and as you can see, our harbour is still working well. We've got more uh, more shipping vessels coming in to our harbour district. No uh, rail connections yet on the uh, <coughs> harbour, but hopefully we'll see that at some point so we can kind of preview the little uh, rail lines coming down here. Um, <coughs> yeah, I know, the stream always gets confused with this. Uh, okay, I'm just watching this guy coming in. Very cool. So once it starts offloading again, we'll see uh, lots of traffic coming out of here. Now here's my concern, look. I thought we specifically told them not to come through the town. I thought there was a very clear policy. That traffic should not be coming through the town, unless it's going to the town. Of course, that's a different matter. Like if they've actually got business in the town, that's fair enough. But I have a feeling they're just going to use this road here and they're going to go straight up the uh, four-lane road. Yep, bastards. Unacceptable. I don't want that. I want them going this way. So I think what I may do is set this as a one-way system only. So that any of that harbour traffic can't come out of there. But then that will screw me over from the, uh, the garbage landfill site stuff. Loon is because they can't, because their spawn doesn't let them do a U-turn. Or if they come out of here, they can just turn right. But if they if they come out of here, then they can just go down here. So what's the issue? They can just come out of here, go here, then they can go back up this road and go that way. No problem. There's like another road option for them right here. So I don't understand why they would... Look, see, look, they could go here, turn left, and then go that way. So what's the problem? And that guy just did a U-turn. Like I literally just turned around. So what's up with that? Why do they go that way? None of them should be going this way. This is bullshit. Oh look, see, look, these guys are doing it. Look, 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 they're doing it, they're doing it. You know, in a way I should actually think about that because it's going to be slightly uh, long-winded for them to actually do that. Maybe the other ones only went there because I hadn't built that road by the time they were already coming in, so they kind of had the whole preset route thing going on. This could be potentially a traffic issue for me if they kind of keep going around that way, but uh, we'll just play it by ear, I guess. We'll see what happens. See, and then once these guys get out of here, they'll get onto the uh, National Road, and they'll just go a lot quicker. So you see, this hopefully will keep a lot of that, that traffic, and then they'll just go off in this direction here, look. Up to the nice roundabout. Here they come. Damn you trees! Looting and it, look, they're still doing this, man. It's like it's like they can't stop growing. Look, they just they just will not, they will not relent. Looting and his war on trees, seriously. It's up with these freaking trees, man. I bet it's still going to be happening over here as well. Yeah, look, they're encroaching. This was this one's the worst one earlier. I'm just gonna have another little look around and see whether like see these bastards. I'm not happy about these trees. This this town is gonna die by trees. Tree death. Oh hey! Wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 it's happening! It's happening. And that is a long Okay, hold up. Let's actually uh, view this guy coming in. We're gonna ride the train. Look at the cargo load, he's got like nothing. Oh, damn it, every time. Right, here we are, so we're on our cargo train, guys, coming in to the harbour. Looking good, looking good right now. Now, the better, we're excited for this, but we're more excited for when he's on the way back. And he has to go through my crazy roundabout system. Okay, here we go. Over the bridge. It's all working good. Come up. Yaris for 18 months in a row. How you doing, Yaris? Good to see you this evening. You've missed a lot tonight, but that's all good. Okay, here we go. Into our huge cargo terminal. Now, this thing can actually handle uh, a, a big-ish train. But still not as big as this train is, but nonetheless. Oh, shit. What? 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 He doesn't go back? No! Why? Why? So the train just deletes at the cargo station. That's bullshit, okay? 
I feel cheated. Horribly, horribly cheated. Bastards. That is unacceptable. So out of order. But at least the traffic is going the right way. Looting the train can't turn around. Yes, it can. They always turn around. Have you never seen the way trains work in City Skylines? Literally, it'll just flip and then go back the other way. That's how they work. Or it'll literally push back the same way. It's not an issue, trust me. Trust me, it's not an issue. Probably try and find something to illustrate that. Oh, look, it's literally happening right here. I just saw one train over there freaking out. Yeah, the trains just go whichever way they want. And this guy's going slow. I love those little, uh... I love those little signals, the uh, little turnarounds. All right, okay. Let's go back to this. Right, so we're going to continue uh, with this. It needs a train loop. We've got... Uh, stop talking about things you don't understand. Right. Let's continue building uh, Wasabi Town. So we need to continue building this. So again, now at this stage, I can just start throwing stuff down. It's really fine. Uh, now the other thing we're going to need is we need health care, death care, all this kind of stuff in the town. So we need to get some little clinics down. I'm going to get the Sim City clinic, I think would be nice here. So I'm just going to put it right there. And everybody's happy. Uh, we need to get some death care going on. Uh, so I'm going to put... This is going to be quite a large town overall. So I'm going to put the uh, V crematorium uh, over here. It's always good to have real good death care. I'm just going to smack it over here. Like that. Um... That'll be fine for now. Um, you know, the, the city will grow. It will warrant it later, but it doesn't warrant it right now, I know. We've still got big residential demand. Uh, I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, higher, like, bigger residential stuff, but just here. It's good to basically uh, mix this up a little bit. So, and then what I'll do is I'll just put some uh, lower level residential on these other sections. Just to kind of, so this actually, if you do this right, it can kind of look quite good. These guys need power, but it'll get power in a sec once those buildings build. Right, so we are decreasing that, res there we go, he's got power now. We are decreasing our residential demand, but slowly. Again, I'm probably going to leave, I'll probably put like a little park or something there. So this would be a good place to have a little park start out. Good to have some leisure. Uh, what else? Oh Christ, it's a thunderstorm. We'll keep our eyes peeled for lightning. Also, we should have a little assessment of uh, power. We've got plenty of power, we've got plenty of water, and we're doing fine on garbage. Healthcare, cemetery usage is at 43%. That's actually pretty high, but it's okay. Fire safety is usual. We need to get some schooling down. There's some, there is some, as you can see, I think some lack of, oh, actually there is a severe lack of schooling in Blue Adder, I think. Let's have a look at how, I was only got 460 out of a thousand students though. What's this guy? Not enough goods to sell. Needs more industry. Uh, and where's the other school? I think it's right here. 500. Crap. I'm terrified this is going to like destroy some giant building. Yeah, it says uh, I was streaming tonight and had fun on my Exile server. Awesome. I don't think I've really played that before. Can somebody donate and tell you? Can, I'm reading the chat. Trains can't turn around at the harbour because there's no cross, unlike normal train stations. Oh, that makes sense. That, that, see, now that makes sense. Yeah, because normally there's a cross where it sort of crosses over. Okay. Hmm, how am I going to fix that one then? That's going to be... Oh, God, it's... No! It's ship anarchy! Oh, God! It's all happening again! Remember this. Basically, what happens when there's multiple cargo ships coming, as you can see, they tend to have, like, a bit of a... <laughs> when you have... Mo this is... Why haven't they fixed this? Why haven't they fixed this? They don't wait. So they will literally just, like, spaz into each other. Watch what happens. Look, he's just like, oh, another ship. Oh, God. Right now, they should just explode and, like, just, like, gigantic. Oh, God. Why do they do that? That big ship's like, fuck you guys. Bang. That's all right. 
Look at the city in the rain at night. I'm, a, I'm not very big fan of the rain uh, effect either because it's extremely... Uh, it really annihilates the frames. It's bad. I'm going to save right now because I'm paranoid this rain is going to screw everything up. Oh, God. Okay, it's just all right. Anyway, my... Uh, my industry distribution in terms of uh, traffic. Okay, here comes another train. That is a long train. Look how long this train is, guys. This is bonkers. Look at it. Is that coal or something? Look at how long this train is. That is mental. Yeah, it's coal. Look at how long that train is. Ridiculous. Right, so anyway, we need to... Actually, this could be a good opportunity to test this if the, if the train is right here. Um, <clears throat> I need to put... But it might not use it because... Uh, if I haven't put it in previously. Uh, how am I going to sort this out? Um, this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to do this kind of in reverse. I'm going to build a single line. So if it doesn't have a cross, that's really bloody stupid. Also, it's stupid because it means I didn't actually have to build this as a double line at all. In fact, this could actually be a single line going down here like this. I'll do that afterwards. Uh, for now, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build off of this. So, we're going to go like so. There we go. So, is that gibbed out or is it alright? Uh, it's a compromise. Okay, so that's going to be like this, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, let's see what happens if I build just over this road here. Will it obliterate the road or will it go kind of tunnel over the road? I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. Ah, yeah, as I thought, it kind of builds like a weird quasi uh, bridge. That's okay, I'll, I'll fix that in a sec. Right, god damn this rain. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is carry on round on this overpass here. Right, and then we'll connect to this. Beautiful and perfect. I can't quite tell whether it's beautiful or per perfect because I can't see a bloody thing. Okay, now that's obviously probably going the wrong way, I think. Yep, so we're going to reverse that around. Hopefully I've not screwed anything else up in the process either. Uh, I'll fix these weird bits going over the road, don't worry. That's strange. Is that not connected? Okay, so that's perfect. Uh, so he should, in theory, come out of there and run around. Uh, so that should work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off Anarchy. I'm going to delete out these weird bits which go over. And hopefully I can get away with uh, building a little bridge or something across here. But we shall see. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to fix it a little bit with move it, but it, the theory is okay. Well, actually, I think also potentially these might have to go a little higher. Damn it. Mm. That deleted a lot more than I wanted to, but whatever. What the hell? Even with anarchy on, I can't do it? Oh, because I'm... Ignore me, I'm tired. Okay, this is going to go over here like that. 
Yeah, as I suspected, it's a little bit low. But it's okay because even if we use move it when we built an embankment, it will kind of push up a little bit. That's a train loop, I know. You don't need the single track, I think. Just needs a loop. What? Anyway. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the incoming bit single. And anyway, even if I, I prefer this way of doing it. Because I think this will look more interesting. Right, so this needs to raise up a bit. If we need to get it basically above the uh, I probably should have done that simultaneously. This is going to look really cool. I hope they actually use it. Okay, that's high enough now. Now this is going to have to also uh, raise up some. Okay, that's great. I'm actually going to keep playing because uh, this should work for that train coming out. He probably, I, I say that this train, he might not actually uh, leave the station. Yeah, I figure. Because uh, I think he already sort of had his route basically preset at that point. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to move uh, both of these bits a little higher. Like that. And there we can see, look. I can move this down a little bit even, I think. Okay, just a bit higher, like there. Okay, cool. Right, so there we go. So that is working, and I, I like that a lot. I like the look of that. Looks really cool. What he's saying is that you could have done a two-way loop rather than two one-way systems. But it's not two... Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand, and I'm not going to try to understand because this way is going to work just fine. Um, right, so let's just turn this on. So turn this around... Perfect. Great, great, great. I think we're back to the bloody... Um, we're back to stream Rubik's Cube descriptions by the sound of it. Okay, cool. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This will make a very interesting uh, harbour area and I'll probably colour it in uh, using some... Uh, uh, using this surface tool as well. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, let's right, let's try and understand this nonsense. Um, Valenia says it does exist in the model, Lutin. What what exists in the model? Two way could work. What he's saying is that you could have done a two way loop rather than a two one way. Why would you do that? Make the track that's currently single two way. As the track at the port is two way, it just needs to be looped back around. But I have looped it back around. I'm getting confused by what you guys are saying by looped back around. If you literally meant just like come out and then loop around like that, then I think that's actually like a worse way of doing it than the way I've done it. Because then it would do like a really awkward, weird turn or something like that. Oh, you said it doesn't exist in the model that I use. But anyway. Right, okay, so let's carry on. Uh, I'll come back to that one. Residential is doing well, and you can see, so we've got like a nice balance here of the kind of uh, higher residential buildings and the lower ones. Just going to keep increasing residential in this area. So one thing we don't have is any kind of like metro or public uh, transport system down here, but we don't really need it. But this uh, this whole area downtown is probably going to expand a lot. Now we are still, we're up to 70,000, but we are still kind of like not having, I'll message you later as it's not important. It really is not important. Of all the things that are important right now, that is very low down the list. Did you put a high rise ban on Wasabi? Yep. Yep, that's on. No, I want to know. I want to have another stream argument like we've done before, like the roundabouts and stuff. I want to find out. I want to learn these things on a stream. A lot of fire. Okay, it looks like Koala Town has maybe been hit by lightning, but um, it's okay. The uh, helicopters are en route. Helicopters picking up water from just about anywhere. And the trees are going bonkers again. The trees are encroaching on everyone. And these bloody trees, man. I'm really pissed off. I am going to uninstall uh, Anarchy, I think. Just very, very annoying for me. 
Or is there something you can disable where you can... Is it... Actually, let me just... Uh, like this rain. Well, I'm going to make it stop raining, guys. I've had enough. I've had enough of this freaking rain. Sorry, I've just had enough of that rain. It's been raining forever, and I just got sick of it. Right. Looting has changed the system, so your point is now redundant, Wargamer. Okay, I, just, I still want to hear, like... I'll, Arguing the same thing. I, I still think your guys way if, if I'm thinking is it's gonna start raining again. Asshole. God damn it Well, let's see if the options by the way Basic logging unlimited trees mod uh, Extra landscaping tools da, 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 that's just for other stuff like adding in uh, ore and things like this. I don't know if it's even in here. Prop and tree anarchy. Hides or props anarchy always on. No. Anarchy on by default. Toggle on. See, there's nothing in here which says about unhide all trees. On oh, no, no. There's nothing which says about the trees continually generating. I'm. It's. It's the kind of. It seems like the trees. Although, like I said, um, it could have been that those ones over there. It could have been that those ones over there generated whilst I had the mod on at another point in time. Luton, would it break your save if you delete the tree anarchy? Mm, no, I don't think so. Right, okay, look, let's go back to this train nonsense, because I want to know what's up with this. Okay, so explain to me someone who is good at explaining in like a way that people can actually understand you. Somebody explain to me what is up with that, because I want to know. I want to know. So tell me, talk to me, tell me. Let's... Let's thrash it out. I'm interested to know. Come on. Tell me what is up with the train stuff. That I want to know. Is that... I think this one could do with uh, dropping down a little bit. Uh, Wargamer says, from what I saw, the harbour model had two tracks on it. Yep, okay, so we've got two tracks. Two tracks, okay. Two tracks go to war. Okay, so two tracks. Only one of the lines was used, coming in. I was suggesting a system where the original two-line system stayed, and the loop that was added... <laughs> oh, God. It's all happening again. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be another roundabout, I know it. Use your main finger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just can't do this anymore. Every time, every time. A system where the original two-line system had stayed. <laughs> the original two-line system had stayed. And the loop that was added was in dual track layout. I'm like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Ah, oh, someone explain this to me in like an actual logical sense. <laughs> Why? <are you? laughs> okay, God. No, you just need to explain it. Just saying things like, right? Let me read. Let me read it again and see if anybody else understands it. Okay. Um. So, okay, from what I saw, the harbour model had two tracks on it. Okay, yeah, get that, two tracks. Uh, only one was used. Get that? Okay, sorted. I was suggesting a system where the original two-line system had stayed. Okay, yep, stayed, keep the two-line. And the loop that was added was in dual-track layout, allowing both tracks to be utilised. Yeah, so what you're saying is basically build like a really horrific... I think I think I get what you guys are saying, but the reason I didn't do that is because it would have looked freaking awful. I think what you guys were saying was for me to do something like... Um, basically like take that track and then build a big circle here, right? Something like that, like a big circle here. So that the trains would come in and then they could just leave in a big circle and go out on the other line. Is that basically what you were saying? Just to build a big circle. 
Yeah, two lane. Oh, you mean like do a two lane on both ways? Yeah, could have done that. But you see, there's no need for that because it doesn't warrant the amount of no, not do that. So you're just saying you're all you're saying is make the one lane system two. So just just basically do exactly what I've done, but with two instead of one. Is that what you're saying? Fuse, Fuse, Fuse in the chat is using my head banging emote. It's like, don't act like an, an idiot. Oh my god. See, this is what pisses me off. This is what pisses me off. You guys are explaining this in this super long winded, crazy roundabout route. Uh, and it's just like, why didn't you simply say, Lutin, uh, instead of just putting a single line, just put a two lane, you know, two, two tracks. Not all this, you know, tune line system and you should have put in a loop under this and that. Just say you should have just put two train lines, two two tracks, two tracks. Just make it two tracks. You guys are talking out your asses. Uh, oh my god. Wargamer did. Well, forgive me, okay? But when you're reading a spamming chat, I'm not reading every single freaking uh, comment that's made. Lutin, they're saying that a two-way, two-lane roundabout, meaning you just upgrade your loop to two-way. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. See, this is the other thing. This this is the reason why I didn't do that. There's no need. Because the trains come in so infrequently. Like, if this was a thing where the trains are coming in left, right, and center, there's like trains, 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 then you would require it. But there's no need for that. In fact, I actually prefer this method because I like the fact that there's like a, a, a two, two train line coming down here. And then as you get to this point, it splits, so you have an entry and an exit. So the line will come in, and it splits across over here. They come into the station, they do that, and then they come back out the other side on a single line. I actually prefer that than a double system, because the double system would never be utilised. There would never be enough traffic coming in. Future-proofing it for what? There will never be enough train traffic coming down here to warrant a double loop. There's, there'll be no need for it whatsoever. True looting, you can upgrade your loop if the harbour had a lot of traffic. Yeah, I can just upgrade it later. There's enough space here, but there won't be that much traffic. There's there's not, there's not, never going to be enough trains coming down here that will require two lanes. That is just totally unnecessary. So, yeah, no. Anyway, man, that was a... Jesus Christ, that was a seriously long-winded explanation. Right, now we can probably start getting rid of uh, some of these uh, power cables a little bit. And uh, moving these around slightly. Because... And when will this bloody... It feels like it's been raining forever. Okay, um, we can probably get just delete out these straight up. Get rid of that. This one needs to go as well because it's being weird. Let's just have a look how that's affected our power. Oh crap! Oh, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. I'm just going to do that. Okay, there we go. Right, now I'm just going to potentially move these here. To the other side of the road. The rest of this I think is actually fine. I just want to put some uh, buildings in here, you see, so I don't necessarily want to have all of this here. I'm just going to put that one like this. Okay, there we go. Right, I just want to get some buildings on this side. Uh, I obviously want to paint in this area. Let's have gravel. Because I figure that this whole uh, district here is just going to be like uh, kind of gravelish. We could have put down some. Uh... Oh, we could we could concrete it. That's another thing we could do. There's concrete. We could just concrete the whole area, which is probably a bit more realistic for some of this stuff, actually. Because it's supposed to be like an industrial area. I think I'll leave it over here, though. But this little bit here... I should make my brush a bit smaller, I think. Um, right, we'll just fill this in, look. Even with like the smallest brush, it's quite tricky to get this actually correct. Also, as you can see, it's actually a pain trying to use these painters sometimes. They're not very uh, user-friendly. 
Also, it's not very nice when the entire thing is like shining with rain. Look, look at the shine on that. Jesus Christ. Right. Let's just uh, gravel that bit up. Oh, nice. That's some cool looking industry right there. Again, that we can kind of uh, gravel this area here. Okay, good. Right, and we can concrete this area here. Right, good. It's working nicely. What's that blue line there? Is that a glitch? I'm going to selectively ignore that. It's graffiti. Somebody spray painted it blue in there. Okay, here we go. So let's see what happens with this train. See whether he actually obeys my system or whether it just deletes. Also, it depends. Yeah, he's deleted out. Um, I have a feeling. I don't know whether they will come and go from these. I have a feeling this entire loop system is unnecessary. But I also don't hate the loop system, so I'm kind of fine with it at the same time. Uh, let's get... Uh, why can't we build more industrial up here? Let's build a little uh, alleyway. Little alleyway road. Yeah, it's kind of strange the way that stuff's behaving. I don't think those trains are ever going to leave the station like normal cargo terminals. I think they literally will just come because it's a port terminal. I think they just bring it in. What's going on over here? Boat jousting. Look at this. What the Christ? This guy's like, fuck you. Just going to smash him into the side. Jesus. Right, let's get some more industrial in here. So I'm just going to fill this area a bit with industrial. Uh, where was that thing I was looking at before with the cargo terminals? Oh, this. So we have like warehouses. Although it's all... There we are. We can actually get some like right here, look next to this. I'm not quite sure what the warehouses do. They're kind of like acting as something for the port. I don't... What do these actually do? It doesn't even say. I don't know. All I know is they look kind of cool, so I'm actually good with it. They look, they, look, they look good kind of coming down here, so I'm fine with it for that reason. Okay, let's get some more water usage going on. Let's go some water. Um, I think I need to extend either the gravel or the concrete in this area as well, look, because... Maybe if I paint over this? Nope, it's still blue. I really wish the uh, I really wish the concrete effect, you know, when you paint, didn't do it in such a jagged, weird way. But it does. That's all there is to it. Cool. Okay. This area is looking really nice now, though. When is it going to stop raining? I feel like it's been raining literally forever. Okay. Here comes another train, guys. Again, I'm pretty certain. Oh, I think it's stopping raining. I think it's stopping raining. Thank God. Thank God for that. Yeah, see, it just disappears. I don't think we need this train loop at all. I think it's just going to keep deleting every single time. Oh, God, Wargamer, let it go. Let the whole train thing go. Okay, we need to get some more residential in. I'm going to save again because we've done quite a lot. And uh, as you know, I'm still kind of paranoid about potentially crashing and losing everything. Told you it isn't working. Uh, yeah, but there's, there's no reason for it, you know, not to work. Because all they have to do is they just come in, go out again. 
And we know it's working because, look, see? And the purple ones mean that it's uh, that's how it connects into the, you know, the harbour section, so. The problem is the harbour itself, which is something you can't edit. Yeah, there you go, you see. Even if I double this up, it won't make any difference. I'll, I'll happily do it to prove a point. <clears throat> and let's pray I'm right, otherwise I'll look like an idiot. Which is very likely, because that happens on a frequent basis. Um, right, okay, let's, let's double this up, two-way track, let's see what happens. Just out of curiosity as well, more than anything else. Let's just pause whilst I do this. Ugh, this is going to fuck everything up. Uh, it's undoing all my good stuff. So that's kind of fucked up, but let's see what happens this time. Right, so we'll have to wait for another train to come. In the meanwhile, we can continue uh, and keep an eye out for the uh, train arriving. But in the meanwhile, we will uh, continue adding our residential into our little town over here, which is coming together nicely. Uh, let's just get a bit more. I don't think we have any fire services down here, and I probably should 100% get that, because fires are a thing which happen. We should definitely do that shortly. Uh, let's do that right now because I've suddenly paranoid about it now, I think. Uh, okay, let's just get... Let's have enough fire usage for this entire area. Let's just get the Stansted Fire Station in. That'll cover everything real nice. Although apparently not all the way. I thought that would uh, cover a hell of a lot more. Maybe I should uh, move it over here. going to cover more into the town. That's good enough. Right, trains, where are you? Come on. No trains in sight. How, who, how, what are we betting that this is going to work or not? What are we betting? Pride or more? I don't think it's going to work. But we'll see. We'll see who's right. Right, we're going to keep growing houses in here. See, so see how quickly this is developed. We're going to really have to build some more stuff down here. More car. Is that like a double cargo ship? Yeah, it is. It's like gigantic. Hello. Oh, it's the uh, bloody queuing going in. This farm situation never improves. We almost need to do like a queuing bit of road right here, actually. But we can't do that now because of the railway. Oh, here comes a, a train. Okay, we got a train. We got a train. Let's ride the train. Oh, damn it, every time. Ride the train carefully. Man, the train looks real nice in the little... Uh, look at it Look at it coming through the rock area here, though. This looks really cool. Right, here we go. Oh, wait. No, he's not going to the... Oh, he is, yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're riding in. Riding towards the harbour. Just a bit of a standard container train. Not a long one either. And into the night as well. Look, oh, look at that sunset. Beautiful. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm praying that I'm right, but you never know. So, the theory is, because it's two lanes, both sides, it'll just come in, unload, and then carry on the other way. My theory is that it won't do that, but it will just delete. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Exactly. Exactly. So it doesn't matter, basically. 
In fact, we don't even need it at all. But I'm going to put it back in because I like it. And I'm going to make it one way. So, let's do that. And back to my blade. Leave me alone. I'm doing it my bloody way. Alright. Alright, let's go over it. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. Hey, uh, don't question me again. Alright. Okay. Ah, right. Now I gotta fix all this crap. Thank you, thank you for this. Wasting time. Okay, so let's take that. God, this is worse than it ever was before. I have to totally fix that. This one's okay, but the other one is fucked. Yeah, but this one's fine. But this bridge over here is totally screwed now. Look at it. What a disaster. Oh, although on the positive side, at least we've got rid of the blue line now. Although there's no... Uh, we really need... Um, metro, pillar... It's a rail one, I think. You could use any any pillar, really, though. Where's the rail one? Is it this? Rail elevated pillar. Yeah. Let's use this. Uh, now, downside, I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to use prop anarchy, which sucks. Or do I? Will it enable me to do it? It shouldn't enable, it to be, enable me to do it. Oh, I think you have to place it and then... Yeah, move it. So like this, basically. I'm just putting this in to make it look better. Come on, move, you bastard. Needs to be a little bit further over. Right, something like that, I guess. Turn bloody tree anarchy off. Right, there we go. See, so that's that, that looks a little bit better than being no pillar at all, right? Okay, finally. Alright, so at least we know now, eh? At least, at least we know for future reference, it doesn't bloody matter. It might be, this is just a theory, but do you have two cargo stations? What? Oh, okay, you guys are talking about something else now. Okay. Right, so... The harbour is finally, finally up and running. And we have a whole new town. A whole new town... A whole new town which has no uh, police station by the way so we need to get police in the mix I'm gonna put them right there so police station we also have no schooling and we do need schooling obviously uh, we have I'm gonna put uh, where's the elementary school I'm gonna put a large sort of uh, Japanese style elementary school down here well it doesn't seem to cover a big area where's that other one there is this, there's Rocca Vista, that's a college though. That's high school, there's modern high school. Oh yeah, advanced elementary school. Let's get that in the mix. Because this can provide for over here as well, so. Put that there. Advanced elementary school, and then we'll get high school in as well. If we're going to have several advanced things, let's also get an advanced. Oh man, they love it. They can't get enough of the schooling. Uh, we're going to put the... Uh, high school next to it as well okay sorted so we've got our uh, schools in the mix there look guys 
Look, they love it. They bloody love it. Okay, let's get a bit of sports, and it would be good to have sports near the school, right? So uh, let's get some leisure. Let's have a running track, which will also, as you see, uh, benefit the whole city, so or the whole town. Get a running track in there, and I think uh, let's have a, a tennis club, why not, right next to our uh, other bit right there as well. So there we go. Tennis and running, look, all going on. Grass tennis, cor tennis courts, I'll have you know. Only your shabby uh, clay courts. Get some glass courts. The ship to train spawn is probably at the side towards sea. Oh my god, who cares? It doesn't matter. Just leave it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Seriously, it really doesn't matter. Uh, some of these tower blocks getting a little bit high as you see, but don't worry, that's like, they won't get any higher than that. Uh, right, loads of upgrading going on. Uh, so let's have a look, how are we doing for health? Uh, we're doing good, oh, that's death care though. Uh, let's have a look, health. Health is still f pretty okay for the area. Garbage collection is okay. Doing better with that now. Let's have a look at water. Fine. Electricity, fine. So everything's going very nicely. Let's see if there's any kind of unique buildings we can get going down here. Now, actually, Timajay Park hasn't had any love for a little while. And uh, we can still grow this area, of course. So we really should try to grow a little bit more. And turn off the stupid one-way thing. Um, glass courts. No. <laughs> Grass courts. Grass. Grass tennis courts. Okay, so let's just... Uh, we're going to round this road around here. I haven't rounded that road very well. Um, and we can actually build quite nicely down here. Because... Uh, there's a reason I overlipped this bit. It's because I want to be able to build like this down to the harbour area. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, <clears throat> but we do have a highway ramp. We, we, I think we could do with another bridge here. I really think so. Because, and I'm going to just make a little four-way bridge. I'm just going to make a bridge go straight across here, like that. I think we could do with another bridge so that we can connect these areas up more easily and allow people to kind of traffic around much better here. Um, so, helicopter. Um, so yeah, let's just get some more uh, road in. Perfect. I might just tweak That angle is just, I want it a bit more like that. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to tweak with roads a minute ago? Is it something down here? Oh, there's something I wanted to tweak with roads, so I'll move it, I can't remember. Oh, this, that's right. Because that also needs to be a bit more curved like this. There we go. Right, I think we're uh, coming towards the end of our session today, guys. Right, but I think overall, um, performance has been pretty good considering all of the mods we put on. I haven't felt tons and tons of lag here. Like, it's, uh, you know, we haven't had crazy, crazy frame drop. We've got a good amount of people coming into the city still, so that's good. Uh, now, I'm going to just use unconventional straight roads here. I know, sorry. It's going to be almost too much to bear for you guys, I'm sure. Straight roads, what is this? Uh, let's have a look. Let's just do... There's too many junctions going on here. So I'm just going to do... Uh, to there, and then oh, what a horrific road junction that is! I love it. Okay, uh, and then I think. See, here's a good thing with this. We can just do this, basically, and then you see you can move, like, loads of this around so you can actually kind of make it fit the space a bit better. And then all I can do is take, like, a small one and just run it 
straight the way down through like this. We don't need big amounts of space because this is all kind of residential uh, stuff. So, and I'm going to actually make this even more. I like I like having like complex road systems and stuff. So again, we can just uh, take uh, Timaje Park and we can just fill this in. So we shouldn't have any problems in terms of this is going to give us a lot more residential right now. So that's very very good. Fill in this whole area. We're going to need water, probably electric down here. Just fill all that in. So that's good. So we're going to get loads of extra residential going on here now. Just run all this water down here. Uh, I'm just going to run across here actually instead of down. That'll do for now. Uh, let's have a look at how we're doing over this way. That's all good as well. Let's look at the districts because I expect Timaje Park is going to have to expand some. Uh, Nugan Harbour can just uh, sort of fill out this area. The Nugan Harbour, by the way, it's not really... Uh, it doesn't really need its own sort of district. I've only literally put this on here just, uh, just so we can see it as a named place. I was actually thinking about this the other day that um, it can be quite fun to just kind of... Um, put districts down which don't really serve any purpose other than to just name the place because we don't really do that very often you know we, we don't very often kind of just put down a place so for example like this junction we could put down a district because even when you turn the districts off you see they still have a name above them so we could just put down a district over something so for example up here we could we could name that after somebody so some person could have you know the observatory or the satellite dish area named after them if we had a specifically annoying junction we could name that junction and it would just you know so it doesn't actually have to serve a purpose the district right okay residential is coming into this area nicely and uh, it's filling up well we can still kind of push this a bit more I think we should try to get a little park or something some small parks in this area because there's not a lot you can see that there's not a lot of leisure down this town out of town Where's the dog park? People love the dog park. Let's get that. It's not too big as well, which is very beneficial for me. There, yeah, look. Dog park. They love it. We'll get one down here as well. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, and then we could get something else in, like, uh, what's this? Bouncy Castle Park. What's not to love about that? Who doesn't love a Bouncy Castle Park? Only a cold, inhuman animal. Uh, now we've got a little bit of space running down the side here as well. Uh, I'm just going to put in the... Where is it? It's like the stupid one that never appears as an icon. This. I'm going to put a road insert down the side here so we get a bit of benefit but don't take up any space. So that will make these guys happier but without... Actually, let's see if I can do anything else with these road inserts because they're quite useful. Can I get one right here? Like, yeah, I thought so. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, there's a bit of space down the side here. like So I can just get a... A parking road insert. Sometimes it's hard to kind of give leisure to like these little outlying areas. So if you can put these down, these little road inserts, they actually work quite well. Uh, what else have we got? Man, these guys desperately need some leisure. Oh my god! Oh, it's a mass fire! Oh my god. Oh god, it's all going on. Look at this. It's raining for Christ's sake. It should put out the fire. Unless it's such bad, um, unless it's such a bad, uh, oh man, the trees again. It's that bloody tree, that's what triggered it all. I can't delete the tree because it's on fire. Oh my god, it's all hands to the pump, look at them go. God, it's a full on emergency. Ah. Oh. How can it be so much fire with the rain? There must be some serious chemicals in this. Look at how many fire helicopters we've got coming in on this area as well. I think this classifies almost as a small emergency. It's actually starting to spread. I'm not going to evacuate the whole city though just for this. But it is starting to spread on quite an unprecedented scale. I don't think we've got any other fires. Look at the city though overall guys. Look at it now. Beautiful. Look at how far the city spans now guys. Isn't that amazing? Looks absolutely spectacular. Very, very happy with where we are with the city. Just give you a little overview from the top as well. Like, look at this. We have built quite a city so far. And we are far from done, guys. This is, you know, we've got a long way to go. Look at this. Looks a body amazing. Very, very happy. 
Uh, let's see what's happening with our fire. I think it, it's just under control now. The uh, fire helicopters are putting out the last of the tree fires. Good times. There we go. My excellent fire service is keeping everything under control. But yeah, look at this city now, guys. It is just looking awesome. Very, very happy indeed. Uh, one thing that we're going to do is obviously continue. We've got big space here to expand our industrial park, um, but I think we've got to remember infrastructure. And so this whole area can still be expanded for further infrastructure, stuff like water, uh, power production, all this kind of stuff. So we've got to keep that in mind because we, we, we still might need that space. That's why I've kind of left it a little bit empty, right? Uh, but yeah, it's all going, going well. Uh, so how much time have we got? We can do a little bit more, I think. A little bit more. I'm going to make a save, though. A paranoid save. When things are going too well, you've got to watch it. See, look, all the jobs have been resolved over here down in the agricultural area as well. This is the little farming area. Uh, and you can see, again, I, I made some kind of like little fields and uh, things like this, some little strips of trees. That's one thing we haven't really done is beautify the trees. Also, this is my corn field, as you can see here, guys. I made this, uh, so you can start adding in some other bits and pieces. But I very much like this. Oh, do you know what we were talking about? We were talking about this road, weren't we? We were talking about this road and what a pain in the ass this junction is. How can we kind of have a turn off there, but... You almost want like a kind of a bypass, almost. You could almost do with a, a proper sort of... Or, or even a roundabout. I don't know. It doesn't warrant it right now, I don't think, but... Once we open up another one of these grid squares, it won't be an issue because I can just route it off the highway or something, you know, so... Anyway. Another train coming into the harbour. The trains do look really awesome, though, like coming across these bridges and that. It's really good to have this kind of just nice, this industrial port. Now, of course, the other thing that we could build and we haven't built is uh, a leisure... Um, we haven't built a leisure thing. Now that's something where you would see trains coming in and out of. And I think we could very much build this over here because if we're going to have an airport uh, at some point over here, you know, it's, it's going to make a lot of sense. So why don't we go ahead and do that actually. Uh, so we can get another port in here for shipping. So we can get uh, just a standard harbour. Okay, so this is for tourists and other things like this. So we can just place this down here. And again, that's going to connect out to our shipping lane over here. Liam, would you like me to explain the harbour situation to you? No. Um, so I'm going to put this right here. Okay, let's get that. Okay, so now we can have our other stuff. Now we could, uh, oh yeah, I usually what I do is I'll bring a metro or something down to this area. So we'll probably look to do that as well. Um, let me get the water over here. There should be power. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're just going to hook this up to the roads. Uh, let's do... Now, can I do one way? Can we do one way? No. Of course. Why would you be able to do that? Um, so let's just do straight up road connection here. And here. Easy. Now, yeah, usually what I will do is put like a kind of metro station or something in on these points. Uh, so I don't know if I can do that here, but we'll see. But for now, like a road uh, connection will work just fine because we've got it connected up to all the highways and everything else. So it should be fine there. Uh, let's just take a little look though at metro. So that should be working fine now. Uh, let's take a look at metro. So... Let's just uh, see here. So where is our nearest metro hub? So we've got obviously the main hubs over there. I'm just trying to see whether, so these are different lines that you're seeing by the way, the yellow and the red and the light green. Uh, if we click on metro vehicles, uh, also, where is it, metro. Okay, so we can see all the different metro lines we have going on, the yellow and the red. So we've got like uh, three different routes. Um, but where else could we do with bringing in a metro line? So, LB Lowlands basically has nothing. The guys don't really need to get too far with this. Liam, where are you planning to put the airport? Over here, there's a big flat space here. Build a big airport, like right here. Um, but we're not going to do that yet. 
We're not at 75k yet, so. Um, so let's just have a look. Last thing we're going to do here is I might just bring a metro down to service this area. So, so to begin with, let's just get a metro station. I guess this will be a fully uh, this will be a fully below ground uh, metro. I'm not going to bring it above ground. Can't be screwed pissing about with that. Uh, so we'll just have a nice looking metro station right here. Okay, so there's our metro. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to want to connect it to Wasabi Town as well. Uh, I'm going to give... Was Wasabi Town is going to be quite big, so I'm going to actually put the large metro station right here. Uh, now we're back to the whole nonsense of uh, station angles. Yeah, remember this nonsense? What's this all about? Uh, so I'm going to have to fiddle around until I get an angle that I'm happy with. Okay, there we go. So, that'll work. Well, actually, it could even be better want to go the other way really. There we are, that's better. Okay, so I'll put metro station there. Right, so that's two areas we're serving. Um, I'm trying to think whether we want it to go to the, the industrial harbour. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to send the metro to there. They can walk or drive or whatever. Then you can make a four-way metro station and connect all routes to that. Really? I've had issues in the past where when we were building like metro lines, uh, what would you do? Connect like uh, another station here. The, the problem is, is I don't want it to share the lines. But are you saying basically <coughs> we connect up to one station, like over here or something, and then they kind of interchange off of it, yeah? So I'd basically build other lines to it and then they'd share it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Really, of course, like the, the, the proper metro hub is like up here. It's this line, the green line. Uh, so this would be the one to go to. But that could be complicated. But we could try and do it. There is a four-way metro station. I don't know if you have it. Oh, I see. But would 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 it not would what I said not still work? I probably don't have that model. But what what I'm saying is is can you not just connect the metro tunnels to one station and then have traffic coming through? I meant a station or anything else. Yeah, I don't think I've got that model. I think I know which one. I think I've seen that. But uh, oh, is it this one? No, it's not. I'm just going to do it in a totally ordinary way. I'm just going to do it in a totally ordinary way. I'm not going to piss about. I'm just doing it the way I know. Right, so let's uh, continue on building. So where else are we going to go to with this? Um, well, Timajé Park. Oh, Timajé Park has a metro station right down there. Uh, but I think... <coughs> I'm just trying to think of where I want to go with this. So if we have a metro line, we could just go through LB Lowlands and Narkles and then end up at Escobar, maybe. That could work. Because then if you're working near the... Yeah, let's put a second metro station down here. This could be problematic, though, when, it, when, we, when we get into the whole lines. There's a lot of underground stuff going on here, so I think I'm actually going to put this one further down the line. Put it, like, here. Yep, there we go. I'm just going to put another little metro station, like, right here. Okay. So that's going to be one location. Then we're going to have uh, Narkley's Forest is going to meet the 20th century by actually having its own line right here as well. So get that. Uh, then we will have LB Lowlands is going to have its own station, and I'm going to put that station near-ish to the clubland area over here, so it's kind of serving two purposes. Uh, so it's going to have to go kind of like here, maybe. And I need that station angle to change up a bit, just like that. I think that's it. I think that we're done. So go through here. I am going to put a bit of a... I am going to put a line over here, though, as well. And this tap, they should be thrilled about this, really. Come on. Right, that'll do. I'm going to put it dangerously, like, here. Such an impractical place for it to be. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out a good location for this. Okay, here. I'm just going to put it there. Right. Let's go back to Metro Tunnel. What? I'm 
Okay, here we go. Metro tunnels. Let's do it. So, off we go. Uh, first one is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Connected that. Okay, now we're going up here. Let's have a look. So we've got to actually cross over here. Got that one up. Okay, now let's... I want to go really this way. So this is our next location is right here. And it won't let me build it, of course. Okay, that's better. Okay, now, where are we going to? Narclees Forest. Well, anyway, I don't need to actually build these like um, like a loop, do I? It can just be a single line, and then the trains can just go back and forth. I can't remember, because it's been a while since we built a line. If we have to build a loop, it's no problem, but... I've got to say that the harbour's loop must be two-way so the ship to train can leave the harbour. Metros just go back and forth. Yeah, that's what I figure. Um, what's this? Oh, the harbour's loop to uh, two-way so the ship to train can leave the harbour. What harbour's loop? This one? This one or this one? Oh god, it's happening already. It's the uh, harbour stuff. The anarchy is happening already. Always with this. Always with this. Luton, yes, but the trains that use your harbour are not dedicated ones. They disappear like trucks and reappear. Okay, so why does it have to be two-way? Do you mean it has to it has to come out the same way? So the whole loop thing is just totally unwarranted. Is that what you're saying? Let's finish this metro stuff. Right, so that's our line going for the metro line. Um, now I'm going to need to obviously connect to that the uh, other train terminals. I'm actually running out of space for t train terminals now. Let's have a look where we can... Um... I'm not sure if I can build any more train terminals in this section. So I might actually have to build new train terminal sections, which actually might not be a bad thing. The ship to cargo uses the other track on the harbour, the track that is closer to the sea. Okay, so, right, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, see, when it comes in, it goes on that one, so bringing it in to ship out comes in there, and bringing it from the ship going out. It's just because we never saw it going that way. So yeah, basically, well, that's okay, I can still leave the one-way line, I'll just make this one section here two-way as well. So then it's just, I'll just leave it, it just looks good. So let's just take that two way and then so, so we're literally just upgrading this. Very nice watching gig. Uh, finished project for English class. English, English class. Yep, see you next time, mate. And I key for that. Okay. Sorted. Okay, so that's that's still working. Oh god. That's not working. But thank god I can fix it. Just like that. Oh, hello. What's going on with that? That is bonkers. That is... What is going on with that? Terrible. I mean, this basically needs to go down. But look, that's going to... Is this even connected? It is connected, but... Oh, it's because there's like a two... There's like a very strange little glitch here. And there's like two bits together. Anyway, that's what needs to happen. That's fine now. This one I might just bring up a little bit. Actually, if I just brought this bit up as well. But also, it's like I think uh, this one here could come down a little bit. 
and we're just about there. That'll do. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and our shipped cargo thing is sort of resolved as far as we can go with it. Okay, cool, but everything's working. Damn, look at the traffic for the bloody harbour. See, this is why... It's going to be cargo stuff. There's so many cars. Where are the cars coming from? Are they coming from the town? Jeez, okay. We need to make a bypass. Because it's going to take... It's going to be ridiculous. Um... Yeah, we basically need to make a road which just connects like that. So let's just take... Just our standard, let's just take this three-lane asymmetrical road, actually. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, great. So now that should give the guys uh, basically priority to coming down that way. They, they, they should prioritize going that way instead of going through the harbour because it'll just be quicker for them, so they should just automatically go there. Um, and then, the only other thing I might do, this is supposed to be a national road, but as you can see, uh, it's not being quick right now uh, because of the amount of traffic coming through it. Uh, let's just think what I want to do with that because obviously the industry traffic needs to get out there as quick as possible. I don't think I want left turn here either. We're getting into this already. I'm just trying to think about this because uh, they'll start coming down. These these cars will already have their routes set. I'm just thinking about uh, road capacity. Basically, I think. See, the trouble is, they're always going to be in this left lane to get over there. Yeah, this is bad in general. I think I almost need to do like a like an overpass for the roads there. We'll come back to this. I can fix it, no problem. Uh, let's do the uh, metro first. This is going to be a long episode, by the way. This has gone on longer than I thought. Uh, let's just do a metro... Okay, let's do the... Oh, yeah, that's right, because I was supposed to be putting in the bloody shed, so that's why. And I was saying I don't have enough space. Well, this would be a good place here for more metro station stuff. Let's just build a couple of... Uh, so, we're going to build some more uh, metro stations near here. But I'm just going to have to build the roads out for it. So all we need is well, all we need is basically like some space like this. Do I have those on just normal path roads yet? Okay, so I have that. And then let's go to transport, let's go to metro station. So we can build multiple kind of metro stations here, basically. Uh, so now that's there, and then we can just build the lines down. Right, so I need to connect this to this line here, like that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to use move, the move tool. I'm going to bring this back, way back like this. So that it has a more gradiated... See, this is the only trouble when you... when you, With the move tool, it's like... Uh, see, there's like two bits almost, so... 
and it hates it if you do it. So if I select both of them now and go down, that should. But you see, look, even then, it's like with some of these things, it really hates it because of the. I think just the way they're designed, they're not really going in for that. That's not too bad, is it? You can see it kind of going down into the tunnel there. Uh, I just want to try and improve this a little bit, but it's a bit finicky. See, I basically want it to uh, sort of just gradiate down a bit more realistically. But as you can see, the tracks and lines are not too happy about that. Yeah, that's a bit better. And so we've got like this weird little ridge right here. Okay, that's not too bad. I can live with that definitely. Okay, cool. So that's our little metro connection right there. So now let's build the lines. Now, as you see, I don't need to actually connect it to them, but you just need them running, right? So create a new line, and then we're going to go add a stop, and add a stop, add a stop, add a stop, and add a stop. Okay, so there we go. And then I think we just need to obviously go all the way back again. So then we add stop, add stop. Stop and complete line. There we are. So that's that line completed. Uh, da, 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 da. You can tell everything about it. Line color. We're going to go with a different color. So we've. Uh, I think we haven't had like orange. So we go with orange. That'll be fine. And you can choose whether it runs day or night or whatever. Uh, that's basically all I need to do, really. And you can choose, I guess, which metropolitan depot it comes from. But it should be that one, I guess. I don't know which depot that is, so I'm assuming it doesn't really tell me. So ah, there we are. So you, if you click on that, you can tell it which one to come from. All right, so we should see the trains coming out of here. I think it's got no power. That's going to be a kicker. Uh, let's just. Uh, I'm just going to use actually some uh, relays across here. That needs water as well. Okay. Right, it's got power and water. Should be good to go. Let's see those trains come on. Yep, it's working. Should be going. Why would it not be going? You know what's happening? What's happening? Zero vehicles. The station lengths. Uh, why? I don't think the station lengths would be an issue. I don't seem to recall me ever uh, having a problem with that. But we can try and look at that. There's people waiting. I think it's just default. Hmm. 
station length is just default, so that shouldn't be an issue. Are we are we sure that you can build them in a single line like that? I mean, I I feel like they should be able to, but are we certain that that's true? Looting the default metro overall. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but what I'm telling you is that I haven't altered it on any of the other stuff, and they're fine. Looting. Click near the metrify orange and let us see. Okay. Lots of vehicles queued. Oh yeah, but this is the first time I've used this new, uh, the new mod for the um, for the transport system, like the more advanced transport system stuff. Have you used complete underground stations before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's several running. So it shouldn't be an issue. Delete the queues ones and close the vehicle unbunching on it. Okay, so. Right, speeding up time. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be doing anything. <coughs> Not working. Uh, it's not having it. So we can't edit the stations though at this point. <coughs> save here. Uh, before we get into another argument about trains, I'm going to go. Yeah, see you next time. Okay. Um, you want me to now... This, I don't think this is going to fix it. Delete the queued ones again. We're just going to have new ones come on. Next vehicle. I know it's wrong, I had the same issue. Okay, tell me what's wrong. Yeah, delete all the queued where we just did that. Uh, the deleting the queue is not <coughs> resolving it. So what else can we try? Need to clear up all the shit game spawns and then need to add his vehicle. What the hell does that mean? That's that's not helpful. I I really don't think that it's the the trains are too long for the stations because if that were the case, then none of the other trains would be running and they're all running just fine. Like look, they're absolutely fine. And even if that were the case, so you don't hear some metro trains run on the red line, yellow line, green line, blah blah blah. It's it's not the train length. That's definitely not the issue.
You need to clear the queued ones and then hit add vehicle back. See, this is why I don't like some of these mods. I, I don't really think that these, uh, someone was going on and on about this improved, uh, you know, sort of uh, management mod for the public transport stuff. And I, I just don't think I'm going to use it most of the time. Okay, all right, let's try this. So let's try adding. Okay, so look, they've all gone, right? So now let's uh, add a vehicle. Uh, I've added two vehicles. Don't think that's going to work either. No. Oh, don't you be start the guy they're on a loop looting. Don't start with the loops again. Like see, add them in. That's not working. I think I might remove this mod, the uh the transport one, if it's creating this much problems. Yeah, I don't I I could very much do without this, so I think we'll leave it there guys. We'll leave it there. This has been a long session on this one. Um I'm going to fix that. I'm probably going to remove that transport thing because I can't see that I'll need it. Um, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. Are you going to build an airport? Yep, we're going to build an airport. Airport's going to be over here in this beautiful flat area. Perfect for airport building. Uh, so we can do this. It'll be out of the city as well, you see. So it'll be a nice, good transport hub link and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're going to finish there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and test and fix that issue. Um, we'll see you next time for some more City Skylines. So until then, thank you very much. See you next time.